curiosity got the best of us and we decided to make a catapult with a stick like a trebuchet called an onager to see which goes further that or the spoon catapult here is the completed one construction of the onager is very similar to the old catapult with the same one by two construction same compressor same chop saw we had two 14 inch pieces two nine inch pieces some angle pieces and four six inch pieces and some wheels here is a finished frame next to the catapult that you're already familiar with now we just got to pull the rope through it's seven feet and i'm using a twisty tie to pull it through and this is actually going to create the torsion which is going to move the stick and uh, throw our projectile as an innovation we added some washers to the ends of the rope so that the screws do not dig into the sides of the catapult okay. that worked very well Let me get it through this side here. and it did not uh, damage the wood when we started tensioning it. Let me put it through this. Okay, it looks like we got it. The stick has a fair amount of tension, and we've added the pouch that's made out of some sewed canvas with some string. And now that we're completed, we're ready to take it to the grass to test how far it goes and compare it to the catapult. is just a wee bit farther. About two feet further. Yeah, about two feet further. The results of the test is that the onager gets about two feet more than the catapult. Now for some exploding golf balls. My son went to Walmart and found some balls that were full of chalk that are supposed to explode on contact. Let's see how they do. First, we tried the catapult. And we shot it with the exploding golf balls, but we couldn't get them to explode when they hit the ground. So we tried the onager. The onager had a little more power when we aimed it at the signs with the numbers, and it burst the balls pretty nicely. Here's another uh, shot that was done at the 30-yard sign, and it exploded nicely. The catapult was less consistent in its shot placement, and we made a few attempts to try to get it to hit the sign to burst the powder-filled golf balls. We got closer, which should theoretically make it much easier to hit, but still no luck. So we moved closer still. And we still were unable to hit it. And when all else fails, just move point-blank range and try it again. And we finally had a bursting golf ball from the catapult. Hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as we liked making it. Please like and subscribe.